What is up everyone? It's me, your girl, Michelle Obama here. And how you guys doing tonight? No, seriously, how are you guys? Because if you came here looking for some of that dank chronic depression, then you come to the right place. And as for me, I hate this website. I hate it for multiple reasons. The first one that I can think of is because I can't do YouTube forever. I know I act retarded a lot and stuff, but you at least expect someone who's older than me to be more mature, am I right? Wrong. There's this weird trend on YouTube where old cunts are willing to do almost anything for views. When I say anything for views, I mean anything for views. Anything for views. Anything for views. Anything for goddamn views. And what else do I hate about YouTube? Oh yeah, those hate comments that I receive almost every day because they make me want to kill myself. Hate comments such as, this guy is probably a virgin. Probably more like I am a virgin. You don't understand. Being a virgin is like the worst thing ever. The reason why a lot of us gamers are virgins is, well, it's simple. Dating just sucks. Dating sucks especially if you're the guy in the relationship, since all the pressure is placed onto you. What I mean by that is you're expected to pay for everything. You have to put all the effort into impressing her. And if you make the wrong move, then there's no starting over and you wasted your time. Overall, dating is just difficult. I'd rather Netflix and chill with my gay dad. Don't judge me. But what is the main purpose of dating? It's trying to convince the other person that you're the best that they can get. That's only if you can find someone to date you. If you can't, then tough luck because we live in a small world. As time went by, new technology came around, so naturally dating websites were created. Dating sites speed things up by trying to match you up with a person who has very similar interests as you. I myself never bothered using one because I'm not desperate. Yes, I am. Well, having researched the most popular ones, I came to the conclusion that they are all god-awful. You might heard of a dating site called eHarmony. Why I bring this one up is these Jews are charging you 60 bucks a month to use their service. The hell are you Jews doing? Love is supposed to be free. Seeing this kind of mess is making me want to create my very own dating site. Who else does it better than me? So what, you guys are ready to see what I have in store? Okay, let's do this. Let's get Roy into the I hate myself. Alright, before we get this party started, I have to lay down some ground rules here to prevent our site from becoming cancerous. The first one up, like I mentioned earlier, it has to be free to use. Since our site isn't going to have a subscription model, how else are we supposed to generate an income to sustain the expensive servers that we're going to have? Well, we can't use ads, that's for sure. They're too unreliable, and almost everyone uses Adblock. Oh, I know, we could always accept donations. A lot of people on the internet are dumb enough to donate to almost anything, most commonly charities. Charities are useless and have the most retarded causes, like suicide prevention. Pfft. How about you guys donate to me instead, and I'll promise not to kill myself. And unlike charities, we will reward our supporters back. Like whoever donates the most receives a blowjob from Bleacher Boy. Alright, now on to number 2. Girls under the age of 30 aren't allowed to use our website. And I know you might say, Bordic the hell are you doing you fag? No, listen up real fast. I'm always right when I say e-girls are attention seeking whores, especially when they're young in their teens or early 20s. Here, let me give you an example of what a typical e-whore does. Hold on, logging onto Twitter. Here we go, I found one. So what this Isla does is nothing but post selfies of herself and only responds to other e-whores that compliment her. And you notice how she ignores all the guys? Yeah, we can't allow this kind of cancer in our dating site. Older girls in their 30s start to realize that their face and body is declining in a rapid rate. So they must settle down with someone before it's too late. So that's why they are perfect for our dating site. Now to number three. We gotta target a specific demographic. A lot of dating sites like to target certain races or religions who usually have trouble finding their mate, like blackpeoplemeet.com and Christian Mingle. So for my dating site, I will target those who legit can't get any of them hoes, which are autistic people. Before I keep going with this, I gotta get a logo for branding purposes. Here, I'll design one myself right now. So which picture on the internet best represents autism at its best? Oh, I know.
perfect. Now that we got that out of the way, how are people supposed to find out about our dating site? What we need is a commercial on primetime television. No, that's not worth it. How about a YouTube ad? Those are cheap and effective. And when I think of the most cringe ad, who else is it besides Bro Fresco? Whoa, what the fast is up, pimps and players? What the fast? More like what the f autism. Our domain name has been decided. It will be at whatthefautism.org.gov.com. It's really easy to remember. And can you imagine how our YouTube ad will be? Whoa, what the f autism is up, pimps and players? Okay, my site is now done and ready to be used. But before I launch it, it needs to be given a test run. I didn't tell you guys this, but my very own dating site found me a GF. The impossible, right? And we have been getting along so well. Hey, my beautiful princess, how's it going? Stop fucking recording me, you bitch. Ha, ah, well that's it for this dank video. Obviously, this dating site doesn't exist. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this vid. If not, then leave me more hate comments. I enjoy reading them all. And one last thing, I want to lick you out because you are worth it.